The horn of Helm Hammerhand shall sound in the deep. One last time. Yes! Yes, today we're gonna defend Helm Steep against Isengard in 4K resolution. And if this video gets 200 likes, we're gonna do the same for Minas Tirith. Let's get it started. Let's do this. We are on the beautiful map Helm Steep. This is BFME 2, the Rise of the Witch King custom map, by the way, guys. And it's a little bit harder than the campaign in BFME 1. Trust me on that one. The armies of Isengard are coming. I need to reach Helm Steep to warn them. Aragorn must reach Helm's Deep alive. I got you. You gotta kill some war riders first here and there. You know how it is. There is also Sharko. Look at this Sharko. Actually, we might be needing heal very fast to keep Aragorn alive. I mean, we have also Atelas. Let's use Blade Master. Aragorn has no EOD summon here. You can summon only Donadan, Donadan allies, by the way. Which makes kind of sense because EOD summon is kind of very, very strong. Alright, so we gotta kill the war riders first, you know? Just like that, micro round. And Sharku is gonna be the last we're gonna kill. Okay, I mean, we can use heal early, so we're gonna get it back up very, very soon anyway, right? The earlier you use it, the faster it's gonna become up again. Kill the last one, there we go. Now it's a 1v1, Sharku against the King Elisar. In 4K, let's do it! <laughs> <laughs> I like this. We're under attack. Over here, I need aid. Aragorn is so strong. When the Sharku is level 3, we are level 4. Maybe that's why. But still. Sharku doesn't stand a chance against the mighty King Elisar. Actually, we lost a lot of HP. <laughs> okay. So we need to reach this spot, guys. Let's go there. And once we reach that, we will get the chance to defend finally Helm's Deep, alright? Alright. Aragorn, these villages are in trouble. I need to save them. Alright, let's do that. Let's do this. He's healing up over time anyway. This way. This day we fight. Aragorn, help them. <laughs> Look, this Aragorn doesn't care. Oh, there are some more units coming finally. Oh, even more than that, use Atelas. Alright, Blade Master is on cooldown, but it's fine. I, I believe you should be fine. You can see Aragorn is hitting multiple units at the same time because of his splash damage. However, he's attacking quite slow, unlike in BFM E1. And if you, if you guys want to also play this map, I'm going to share this link in the Discord. The link to Discord is going to be also, of course, in the description down below. Alright. Let's move to Helm Steep, right there. To the gate! Beautiful. So we have 5 power points collected, we can actually use that into the rallying call, just why not. I think that's a nice power point from the spellbook. And Rohirrim of course are arriving faster. Rohirrim archers, we can, you know, we can, uh, that's the thing, you know, in uh, Rise of the Witch King, you have only one Rohirrim, but you can choose to fight. Either with sword or with bow. Aragorn, we thought you were dead. Open the gates. Let's move on. Where is the king? I need to speak to him arrogantly. Oh, that looks badass. Look, this 4K, I mean, of course, this is, of course, BFME game, so the graphics from BFME games are not super great. But I still like this one. A lot of work has been put into this uh, custom map, by the way. Alright. Look this guy, he's walking like a king indeed. He looks so strong. <laughs> Look his sword, he's bigger, the sword is bigger than Aragorn. <laughs> Alright. It's impressive, you know, when you go to a girl and say, my sword is the biggest. Aragorn, how glad am I to see you. Isengard has emptied. The army is marching upon us. There are at least 10,000 of them. Oh, look this helm, steep. Holy guacamole. No army has ever breached the deeping wall or set, a, set foot inside the Hornburg. Beside these walls, we shall survive them. They will break upon the fortress like water on rock. The walls are solid rock, 
Taruman's arm would have grown long indeed if he thinks he can reach us here. I mean, unfortunately, we have no voice effects in this one, uh, but you got me, guys, come on. I mean, I can do the voiceover, come on. So, we have five minutes time until uh, uh, until Isengard gets ready, so let's move downstairs, maybe, with all the heroes, just like that. And we're gonna, the gate is closed, okay. We're gonna use the um, Spearman in Porcupine Formation. That group here, we have two builders. Uh, one of them here, let's do a farm first, and the other one is right there. We gotta also build the archery range right there. Let's place these units in the gate, so we have some defense. Let's make some more builders too. And once we are at the gate, just like that, we're gonna use the Porcupine Formation to body block the enemy units if they ever should reach the top set of Helm's Deep. This way, my friend. Okay, the building is finished, so we're gonna also make an archer range here, by the way. Very important. Uh, let's do it like... No, 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 no. My mouse is kind of broken, you know? Let's go like this. Exactly. Our heroes are gonna be put on the wall, and we wanna use aggressive stance with Legolas. We have also Gambling. But he sounds like Boromir to me. <laughs> let's, give, let's give aggressive stance to the archers. Those are men of the Okay, we have now two builders, uh, we're gonna build a secondary archer range just to be able to spam a lot of units, just like that. The other one is also finished, let's pick, make a well here to sustain our heroes over time, next to the well, next to the wall I mean, sorry. And we can also do that right here, so put a wall, uh, put a well. Oh, there are some elven units coming now, with Haldir guys, let's go, nice one, I like this. Okay, we gotta we gotta actually upgrade this one to level two and even to level three later. Uh, let's make also a well right there, so they can also sustain our time. There is no Orcorn, the elves of Lorien. I bring word from Elrond of Rivendell, an alliance once existed between elves and men. We come to honor that alliance. So we, we have to open the gates, of course, for that reason, so they can enter. We they are level five too. They are really really strong. The archer range is ready, we gotta wait until the gate is open, just like that. We gotta make this one to level 3, and this one to level 2, because we wanna always recruit the elven warriors, guys. Okay? Now we can put them on top of the wall, on top of the gate, and also right there, just like that. And also Halgir can join our other heroes, like, right there, okay? Beautiful. So now we're gonna make a secondary well because the well is not working as it does in BFME 1. It actually, you know, heals up very slowly. And we can also make a statue right uh, there. Let's make it right there because the statue is gonna give leadership too, right? So we can now start recruiting Alvin warriors. In the meantime, we can also build a statue right here. And we have also a builder here, we can also make a well, maybe right at the Let's gate. Talking about the gate, we gotta close it, very important, otherwise the enemy units are gonna just enter. We've improved the archery range. And now we can finally purchase the fighter upgrade as well, which is quite nice, I like that. The White Tower shall rise. Okay, so Legolas is level 1, Haldir is level 3, Gimli is level 1, we're gonna use um, whole crown stance with the heroes, melee heroes. So they don't go in, and our archer heroes like Haldir and Legolas, you can always use the aggressive stance, this way they can deal more damage, of course, right? This is the plan. So we gotta also make some towers, I believe, just in case they're gonna enter Helm's Deep. And once again, give them aggressive stance, very important. Let's make a sec uh, another statue here. So every unit on top of the wall are gonna pretty much get, um, say it. You know, additional damage and armor leadership. Okay? Where are we building? So we can also do this kind of maybe right there. Hey, no, 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 nice. of course not. You gotta, we gotta make, we gotta make towers here. Just like that. We we got work to do. And we can also get this to level 2, just why not? Two's ready. And we can also start making maybe some towers right here. Let's there we go. Build it. Stay alert. And money shouldn't be a problem because, as you can see, we have three outposts. We are getting money every couple of seconds, pretty much. Where is my builder? Okay, he is here. It means we can build maybe another well right there. And our other builder is here. We can also build a statue here and a well there as well. 
Okay, this is level 2. Let's get it to level 3, shall we? I'm actually worried, guys. We have only 10 seconds left until they come. This is gonna be tough. And we are command points capped, that means we will have to build more farms, though. The farms in BFME 2 and Rise of the Witch King are not only giving us money, but also increasing our command points. So the more farms, eventually you're gonna get more and more command points available, right? So let's make a well here too, just in case they're gonna be damaged, so they can heal up over time. And we can also gear them fighter upgrades, to make them stronger. Okay, there are some units coming, but I'm not worried about the first wave. The first wave is always a weak wave. Uh, let's make another farm here too, just to get some more money, of course. And keep making building more and more towers. Just in case something goes super wrong and they actually enter this, because the thing is, we need to keep this um, Helm's Deep Keep alive. Keep the Keep alive. Okay, we have a rallying call in the worst case, so we are, we are we should be fine, actually. Okay, we are getting some more units. Uh, our heroes are also leveling up like crazy, that's what I like to see. Get some more arches from this one as well. And... Let's also build some more towers. I believe we're gonna we're gonna need them eventually later on. We travel from Lorien. We travel from Lorien. That's nice to hear. I like that. Uh, we should have a great defense. However, um, we gotta also make a statue right here because this unit, as I can see, they don't have any damage leadership right now. We've completed this one. We completed this one. Okay. Uh, we're gonna make definitely some more towers here. Three of them. You know. I don't think they're gonna be very effective in terms of damage outputs, but we need to keep the opponent busy from reaching the keep. Because if we lose this, it's GG. Oh, oh. Look this level 5 Uruk Deathbringers. Holy Kwakamoli, level 5 Warcriders. Level 5 is the maximum rank in BFME 2, the Rise of the Witch King, by the way, guys. Very important to keep this uh, in mind. You cannot make your units unlike in BFME 1 to level 10, unlike... Uh, it only works. Oh, oh, okay. Is this actually Lords? Yes, he is Lords. Look at this. This looks dope to me. What a white hand. <laughs> okay. We're so it begins. Oh, they are coming. They are coming. Their command points kept once again. Uh, let's make another farm here. I don't know if we can even increase more command points. Uh, Lourdes is just chilling. He's level 10 as you can see. It's a big Isengard army. Let's make another one. And also another one here just in case again something goes super wrong. So uh, the first wave, the first big wave actually, which also includes cross, uh, crossbowmen as you can see. Let's kill the crossbowmen first actually. Because they are the only units that can actually attack us back. There is no need of killing the Urukai. Oh, oh, don't die. Level 5. Oh, no. We lost them. Oh, that's bad. That's bad. Oh, wait a second. We can actually go for the Arrow Volley. I believe that's going to be the best thing. Uh, we don't need to use it now, I believe. At least not for now. We are losing a lot of stuff, though. On top of the wall. We can maybe try to get them kind of disengaged. Let's make another well here to heal them up a little bit faster. If we are able to survive with them, that's pretty good. Watch for the enemy. More, more and more units are going to be needed, of course. Uh, let's make another tower right there. So, uh, let's heal up a little bit and then we can put them again on top of the wall. I mean, there are still some units, but it's fine. Only one crossbow man left, actually, which is going to be our target, just like that. Let's give them also fighter upgrades. How did he enter actually this one? I'm kind of curious. Oh, but they, it, not, it doesn't stop guys. It doesn't stop. Now we're gonna get some ladders as well. It already is available, but I don't want to use it fast actually. Let's make towers here too. And let's also keep making more towers at the top side, just in case. I'm actually worried. Okay, uh, they're freezing rain. That means, wait a second, can we go for it? No, we can't. I don't know why we can't go from the arrow volley to the cloud break. It doesn't make any sense to me. But let's get Tom Bombadil unlocked then in this case. I believe Tom, uh, I believe, um, 
Oh, we just like we need to kill these berserkers fast. Look how strong they are. They don't get killed very fast. Tildin is level 4 now. <laughs> Look this. Goro Hirim! For death and glory! Okay. Doom landings are coming. Oh, this Rohirrim are actually putting a nice work for us. I like that. Okay. Let's not lose them. And once again, target the archers first. Now we have 15 power points connected, which means we can get Cloud Break unlocked from the spellbook. Let's keep making some more towers, I believe. It's going to be necessary. Just like that. Just in case something goes super wrong, you know? Now we have a wall of towers here, which is going to make it harder for the opponent to enter. And also keep that also around this area. Okay, more units are coming. We see Whiteman of Tunland with the torches. We have we see ladders. We see even some Engma units here from Isengard. Okay, Isengard is going deep inside the jeans, and we gotta be ready to defend ourselves. Give them aggressive stance, fighter upgrade every time, and we might also need potentially the Armory who actually purchase heavy armor on these units, you know? Weapons ready. Uh, okay. So we gotta wait until one of the builders is done and we're gonna build up the armory next, okay? Armory build. is right there. And here with the other one, we're gonna just keep making more and more towers. We have a lot of units now. We can't make any more, so we can also invest the money into getting some upgrades for the units we have on, already on the field, if this makes sense for you guys. Uh oh, uh, okay. Kill this thing. Can we kill it? It's tanky, actually. And our units are dying very fast to this extroverse. Please defend. Oh, he's actually hurting our uh, gate big time. Um. Okay, let's upgrade this one to level 3 first. Same here. Okay. Is it? Is this it? Is this all you can conjure, Saruman? Don't say that, Theodin. Last time you said that in the movies, we lost. <laughs> we lost the wall. Don't say that. What's pinging here, actually? I'm curious. We are getting some more units, but they are dying very, very fast. We have also a lot of power points collected. We cannot repair the wall, repair the gate, by the way, guys, unfortunately. This is not possible. Keep making more and more towers, of course. The armory is up now. We gotta get it to level 3 as soon as possible. I believe we gotta need more towers here. Definitely. Uh, because... We don't have that much defense around this area. I believe this side is safe. Look how many units we have on the wall, you know? Watch for the enemy. Okay. But I don't see fire on the on them actually. I don't know why. I purchased this. It doesn't make sense for me right now. Oh, there is a mine. I'm gonna snipe this mine, guys. Can we snipe this mine? Because the arrow is leaving fire on the ground. Boom! <laughs> no mine for you, brother. No mine for you. Did they have only one mine? I'm not sure. But I believe there is not a single other mine here around this area anymore. <laughs> okay. We sniped it. And we also have Cloud Break anyway, so we might use it. Um, actually, let's go for the Rohan allies because we wanna we wanna need to we're gonna need to kill the to uh, say it. We gotta use uh, Cloud Break. You want, I want to kill these rams before they actually, you know, break the gate. Very important. Kill it, kill it, kill it, kill it. More towers, more towers. I know what you're thinking. You're saying, oh my god, Shanks, you are camping. But this is not, this is not the final form yet from this Isengard. They said this is going to be really, really tough. The armory is level 2 now. We're gonna get it to level 3. In the meantime, let's make some more towers, shall we? Come on. 
Okay, and more towers also here, just like that. It's nice. So. Okay, we are able to kill these ramps. That's gonna slow down. We see also ballistas. Do we have still time with this unit? If yes, just keep on moving to the ballistas before they're gonna kill our units on top of the wall. Okay, let's do this. Aggressive stance to maximize the damage output, of course. You kill the ram. Yeah, very important. How tanky is this, actually? That's crazy. And Gimli is still level 1 only. That doesn't make any sense to me. All the buildings are level 3. Okay, we killed the Ballistas. Ah, this one is not killed just yet, but that's gonna be changed now with uh, Tom Bombadillo. Tom Bombadil is his name, but I'm gonna show you guys what is the shortcut for this one. It's C. Let's let's use C. Be gone to the shadow. Holy moly, Tommy Bombadillo. But it's going down. There are just too many units with upgrades now. Oh, even more. Two mines coming this time, and we have no arrow volley ability available. Hmm. Hmm. We can go for the hobbits and or for the uh, rangers, but I want to save actually for the summon elves or earthquake. Let's save. We have no uh, no reason of being, you know, kind of afraid now, I believe. We are still in a great spot. We have a lot of towers just in case he's going to enter the castle. Uh, and also keep making more and more and more and more. We must Make one here. One here. And we can also start giving them fire, right? And the shortcut for that is W. So click W, click W, click W, click W, click W. Just like that. Very expensive, so uh, though we can, we need to be careful money-wise. Okay. Um, the problem is, I don't see fire arrow upgrade on our units now. And we need fire to make those mines boom, you know? The thing is, they are all next to each other. I see fire from nobody, actually. They have no fire, guys. Let's use arrow volley. Maybe they made it so you can't have fire to make, uh, because they want to break the gate anyway, you know? Without fire, these mines are not taking too much damage. Now we have enough power points collected for earthquake. Can we kill them? Oh, we can't. But we killed a lot of units. Actually, not as many as I was expecting it to be. Let's make more units here. Very important because we keep losing a lot of stuff now, as you can see. Use rallying call. And Legolas can maybe snipe this? Oh yeah, we killed all the mines with one Hulk strike. <laughs> Alright, I see you. But oh, that's good. There's no more mines available, guys. That's massive. Get more units, very important. But in the meantime, they broke the gate. Holy quacamole. Oh my goodness. Level 9 though. Our Rohirrim are doing a nice job, but our Tildin is not level 6 yet. That means we have no glorious charge ability available. We might need also some units around this area, but we have no much, not much money left anymore as you can see. Let's put them inside the Citadel, just in case something goes super wrong. Our Rohirrim are recovering over time, that's good. Let's not... Let's try to not lose them. Legolas is level 8. Uh, his ability is almost back up. If also golden arrow though, we can stun with golden arrow now the enemy units, right? That's gonna be nice. But I believe we need to rotate now to the top side. Because look what's happening here. We, are, we have to definitely try to rotate with all of our heroes actually to the top side. What is Eowyn doing outside? <laughs> what are you doing, Eowyn? Did you lose your way or something? I'm not sure. We have to go. Eowyn has been taken down. Oh, they are going in, 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 they are going in. Help! SOS! Put them inside. Let's use this one. And we gotta use also Ranger Summon, I believe. Can we use it here defensively? Yes, we can. Cloud Break is still on cooldown. We gotta get all our units here. Okay, is that a gate we can close or something? No, right? No, there is no gate. 
Well, we are losing everything. Even though we were actually able to protect the wall against the mine, but it doesn't help. We are still losing everything. Aragorn. Let's help. Help, 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 help. Where is the builder? Build is. Uh, only one build is alive, and we lost him too. Use Elen deal with Aragorn. Gimli, be careful. Let's use Leap Attack to get in safety. We have no more well here too. We're gonna make a builder for the well. Okay, we gotta get in safety with Gimli. Let's use Atelas to save him. He's very low. Okay, Blade Master. Let's peel back a little bit. Let's use also Arrow Volley with this dude. Aragon is popping off, yes, but is this going to be enough? Where is Legolas when we need him? He's in safety. Aldir is also in safety. Okay, Porcupine Formation, give them also heavy armor and force bleeds to make them tankier. Gotta get more builders on the field. Arrow Volley is available, we can use it potentially to kill these Ballistas. I believe that's gonna be necessary because the fire on the ground... Look at this army! And the... the <laughs> The wall is down! Hold him! Stand firm! Oh my goodness! Oh my goodness! The ballistas are shooting it down from a long, long range. And this is becoming more and more scary to me. Where are the builders when we need them? We lost many soldiers. Aragon is tanky, but is he tanky enough? We have heal in the worst case scenario. We need to survive for four more minutes. We gotta use Cloud Break here to stun them for a... But they are not getting stunned because they are level 5. Level 5 units are not... Are having automatically fear resistant. Oh, more units are coming. Builder, please build a well. Very important. We need one more builder, though. Level 9. We can even summon some units with this dude. If we could get, of course, any chance to summon it. Our heroes are holding this line quite nice. What is this actually? His bonus to all surrounding heroes, so they gonna he's gonna make this heroes around him strong, I believe. Alright. Golden arrow is available. Uh, we don't need to use it. Don't 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 use it now. We are in a safe spot still. Our towers are holding them back for now, but what's gonna happen if every tower is gone? You know what I'm saying? It's gonna be a different story for sure. Let's make another well. Right there to survive as long as possible. The ballistas are sieging the wall. Okay. Uh, oh, some walker riders are passing through, but it's fine. They're gonna die. Let's block these units. Uh, put them. What happened to the well? Let's make a well here. And we're gonna make also towers here. Very important. Every single one of them is, I believe, fire. I see also lords moving now. Uruk Deathbringers are going inside the jeans as well. Tom Bombadil, you are going to be the saver of the day. Alright, let's go like this. So you're going to you're gonna cast automatically Sonic Song whenever he gets the chance to do that. Okay, we have 25 power points now, which means we can also get the last 25. Uh, we cannot use it anywhere, though. Uh, I might be using it kind of here to deal as much damage to the units as possible. And once again, keep them. Oh, they have fire upgrades too. With fire upgrades, they can do something maybe even against Ballistas. Aragon is level 9. Um, we have now almost the second uh, second well up. That's going to speed up the healing progress, of course. We're going to heal up way, way faster. Uh, we have also Arrow Volley. We need to still survive for 2 minutes. We're going to make some more units, of course. Elven Warriors. Let's also make more towers in the meantime. Give them every single one of them needs also fire. Just like that. And we're gonna also make some more towers here. Towers are not gonna be dealing too much damage, but actually they can draw a lot of attention. We lost the units here, unfortunately. Oh, we can use this once again. It's gonna debuff them. You can see that's a that's an effect of debuff, right? So we gotta we gotta kill this uh, units here. Very important. Uh, we can also use uh, Arrow Volley. I mean, Arrow Wind, sorry. Okay, Legolas is hitting like a truck. Very well done here from Lego Low. Lego Low. <laughs> okay, Rohan Allies is almost back up too. And this time we have also Glorious Charge. So we can get mounted with the King of Rohan. Kill, 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 kill. Fight bravely, men. 
Okay. But in the meantime, also units coming from this side. Oh, no, 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 no. Builder has to be careful as well. Oh, he's not gonna get in safety, will he? No, right? No way. Okay, we can also build in the front. Oh, we need to use Golden Arrow now. But look at this army, guys. Do you see that? That's scary, right? Okay, that's gonna be Golden Arrow stun. But again, the level 5 units are not getting stunned. Oh, Theodin! Heal! Okay. Okay, you know what time it is. It is time for death and glory. Arise, riders of Theodin. Okay. Kill these units before they reach. Aragorn is still only level 1. Level level 9, I mean. Hero Wally is on cooldown. Level 10. The hero has to be careful. Atelas can be used for Aragorn, from Aragorn. Okay. You can also now use leap attack with uh, both our heroes, Gimli and also uh, the other guy, Glamring or whatever his name is. Our points are rising. A lot of units around. Almost level 10 Aragorn. We have now 15 or 18 power points collected. We can use the Hobbit allies summon also defensively. That's gonna be also the case. Level 10. Let's also summon more units. Level 10 hero has to be careful. Go back to the well. Gimli. Extra. We don't have any builder anymore. We have builders actually. Okay. Build more and more, more and more, more and more towers. We have also no more money, right? Oh, they, we, they, he does, yeah, he destroyed all the outposts. It means we don't have any money anymore. Your king stands alone. It is too much for me. Help me. Not alone. Rohirrim, story king. Nice. So, can we do it though? Aragorn. Dude, Aragorn almost died because of the movie, uh, because of the thing, say it. Aragorn, you're gonna use uh, Hold Crown Stance, this way he's not gonna automatically move. Rodo is down, Samwise Gamgee is down. Alright, in the meantime, our heroes are popping off, but we need to send them to the, to the base. We have level 10 Gandalf. I'm, I, have a, I, I have an idea. Are you guys ready for the biggest war of power ever in your in your life? If yes, hold on, I got you. We must stay together. Okay, so we gotta we gotta get in there. Very important. More units, but we are command points. I mean, we don't have command. We have command points. Not. I mean, we have no command points. That I'm trying to say, but also no money anyway. So, are you guys ready? Are you guys ready? That's what I like to no 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 be careful Gimli 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 has fallen Fallen into the darkness uh, we have nothing available right now we can also maybe use this once again this is gonna give us fear resistance I mean this is gonna make the enemy units Men of Rohan Okay. Let us fight as one. All right, so we gotta we gotta defend first of all, before we can do anything else. Can we build more? Yeah, we can build more. The thing is, when you press U with Gandalf on the keyboard, you can automatically activate your shield bubble. So Gandalf is safe. Gandalf is still safe. Let's make a secondary well and even a third well maybe. But we have no money, guys. That's the problem. Erolay was doing a nice job here, though, defending very nice. Okay, so we're gonna heal up with the Rohirrim a little bit here. Theoden is also alive, so we can get him mounted too. However, Glorious Charge is still on cooldown. Uh, more units are coming, but we can now finally move out, I believe. But there are still many, many units, as you can see. And look at this. It's not like we are safe for now, you know? But we have Cloud Break. That's better than nothing. Okay. So we have every tower almost with... And we can't, we don't have any money. Oh, Gandalf has to be careful. What is Gandalf doing? Oh, we are getting money for from Eomir, though. Because Eomir is level 
10 of course. He has Outlaw, which means money, money, money every time we kill enemy stuff. Golden Arrow. Okay. Another well. Golden Arrow, but it's not able to stun anything, you know? We can go for a Juice with Zaplas here, maybe. Let's go for a Visa Plus Gandalf, please. Boom! The ends have come with their. Oh, really? The ends are here? Really? Where are the ends? Oh, they are here. Let's give them all aggressive stands. Give up a little bit more. Don't lose the Rohirrim. Can we use this again? No, it's not It's not available just yet. We can use Lightning Sword here though, from Gandalf. Uh, we are waiting for the Glorious Charge to be back up. That's what we are doing right now, if you are wondering. And we can write it down, okay? This is the plan. Let's make another well, even. Uh, we have level 4 units here. We can put them inside the, inside the tower. Units everywhere. We are getting a lot of money from killing them, but I think it's not enough because we have zero farms right now, as you can see. So, let me know in the comment section down below. This is harder, right, than the mission in BFMU 1. To get in safety, please. Uh, Alright, so let's heal up. We have triple well now. We're gonna heal up really, really fast. Okay, we have also Tom Bombadil already. We can use it immediately, or use him immediately, I mean. Um... Uh, and once again, give him aggressive stance. And go for a Sonic song. Do it, Tombi. Tombi! He's looking for it. Oh, Tombi Mombi. That's the Tom I like to see. Okay. Glorious charge. Glorious charge. Cloud break. Right. Damn. Down. Do we have also the... Yeah, we have the debuff too. Oh, that's going to be massive now. Watch now. Watch now. We need to use Vizaplas here against the units, though. Look, everything is getting one-shotted, pretty much. It's right, right out. Right out. Right out and meet them. The thing, the beautiful, the most beautiful thing about the Glorious Charge is that you are not getting slowed down anymore. So we, gotta, we can also now ride out. Our ends are still remaining on the field. Very good, very good, very good. So let's go, go there. Because I don't see any pikemen here. That's going to be nice for us. Without pikemen, they cannot defend. We have also a lot of heroes here for defense anyway. So let's build another tower right there. And even another another tower right there. No? Okay, there. Nice. Alright, Gandalf, you go for a Biza Plus here. Do it. Boo, yeah. Look how much money. Hallelujah. That's what I like to see. Hitting like an absolute truck. The White Wizard Mifrandia is his name. Let's use heal on our units. There we go. And Waterfall is a long cooldown, so we won't get the chance to use it one more time, but we can just hit and run all the time. Uh, in order to win this one, we have to defeat all the opponent units. But man, was this hard. This was quite hard. We have also all the level 10 units, so let's kill. The thing is, the Death Ringers, if you don't know, they are very, very strong against uh, uh, seeds. They are very, very strong against horses, so we don't want to fight them in a one-on-one -on -one situation. What are, what, is, what are you doing, my friend? This guy. They are also able to recruit more units now, but we have command points kept, so we can't, actually. Okay. Uh... I could potentially leave this area with all my heroes, but I'm too scared about the situation. Let's go trample. Money, money, money. Gandalf. One man army. King Theodin stands alone. Oh, oh no, he's not. He's not. Earthquake, we can use it maybe right here. Let's see how much damage it's gonna deal to enemy units. Not bad, but not very very good either, so... Uh oh, they are moving now. Boom! <laughs> okay. 
And now we can move down, right? Now we can move down, just like that. Kill these ladders first. All what we got. We can also use Hobbit Allies here. Coming up actually really fast, we can also use Rangers at the same time. Give them all aggressive stands. This way they're going to automatically attack everything in their vision. Which is something, one of the things I like in BFME 2 in Rise of the Witch King more than in BFME 1. What of power is almost, yeah, it's available now. Be gone, white men. They're actually taking a lot of damage here from the enemy units, but it's fine. We can also make more units now. Money. We have money now, finally. Let's make also some more farms. Okay. So we can also expand finally a little bit. There we go. Ants are also here. <laughs> nice. We must bring justice to the enemy. We will have victory. Okay, so we have some units to kill here. Pretty good. And also we can use maybe multiple times long shot. Just to be just to see how much damage it's gonna deal to this. Not much. Not much. Okay. So they won't get through us. Alrighty. And we have also some units to kill here, and for that reason, we're gonna just send out Gandalf. Gandalf, for death and glory, go my friend. Use this, you can see the blow, brightness, and the enemies, it also enheartens our... Oh, it gives buffs to our units as well. So I didn't know that. Oh, oh! You shall not... <laughs> Gandalf, the one man army. And ladies and gentlemen, I believe, I believe we are victorious. All we have to do is kill this one battalion, I believe, right? And just gonna smash his head. There we go. Use arrow volley as well, just why not? I don't see any enemy units anymore. Am I blind? Am I blind? Why this game is not ending? Can someone explain me, please? We travel from Lorien. We got work to do. I know what we need. I'm, I'm curious, actually. This one is finished. I can repair these ones as well. For 500 to get some more money. Let us draw sword uh, did, we, did we forget about some units? Because I can't see any units on the field anymore. Or is it just me? Or maybe the, this map is back kind of a little bit because we are not getting Master victorious here. Um, curious. We must protect the woods. Oh, there are some units here. We must keep our borders. There was a red thing at the ground. Maybe some invisible units or something? I'm not sure. Because I can't see them on the map anymore. And if this is not gonna work, I'm just gonna leave the game. But you see, we are victorious anyway, right? We are victorious anyway, guys. That's how it works. Okay, so we are also expanding. We can even expand offensively, just why not? Now, we sh now money pro shouldn't be a problem. Oh, we need to capture this once again. No, we don't, right? No, no. We are getting money now, I believe. Yeah, we are getting money now. We must bring justice to the enemy. Okay. We must rid ourselves of Sauron's servants. Uh, yeah, I believe something is broken with this map. Because I cannot see any enemy troops on the field anymore, but yet we are not victorious. We travel from uh, I'm not sure what this We've problem this is one. all about. Maybe there is a ladder or something. I'm searching really everywhere, but I can't see anything. Weapons ready, elves. This is the way. No. Watch for the enemy. Hurry, elves of the wood. Uh, maybe we can summon this units here. Hey. Can we summon? Oh, you can summon them. Oh, there we go. We can summon now. Don't fall behind. We're done we must bring over justice here. to the enemy. Come together. And lose, to use long shot right here. Drive them off. Set up. Nah. I believe something is bugging now with this one. We are not able to get victorious Elves, screen. Here. But it's fine. GG anyway. We defended Helm Sleep, guys. Next one is going to be, of course, Minas Tirith, which is going to be a little bit more challenging, I believe. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this one. If you did, please don't forget to leave a like and subscribe for more content like this in the future. I would also like to meet you in, the, in the, my next live stream on Twitch, Twitch TV slash Beyond Standards. The link for that is going to be, of course, in the description down below. Take care of yourselves, and as always, stay Beyond Standards. Peace!